Hey guys, so GP Houston was over. It was probably one of the busiest weekends. I know I was up until four or five working. Um, I just had some stuff I had to do, which I didn't do at the time. And I met a ton of you guys at GP Houston. Thank you so much for coming up and saying hi. It really means a lot to me. I met probably like a few dozen of you guys. I didn't realize so many of you watched the channel. Uh, that's fantastic and I really enjoyed um, I actually had lunch with six of no five of my subscribers and that was really amazing I would definitely do it all over again uh, but with better planning for the next uh, Houston or even Dallas I do go to Dallas quite a bit uh, Austin doesn't really have bigger events but uh, between Houston and Dallas there's at least one or two big events a year uh, being a GP or a um, Star City qualifier of some type. So yeah, I had a great time. Uh, definitely, f I spent most of Saturday selling cards to free dealers. Horumichiya, the people who make the uh, sleeves with the sun, the happy sun, which you see all over the place. They were there from Japan, and I was really surprised uh, to see them there. Uh, Tales of Comic and Adventure, I believe that is their name. I sold to them as well. And of course, the Steadfast Strike Zone Online. So I did a, I did pretty well. Um, not as much as I expected it would be, but a lot of interesting particular cards. Vendilin Click, the Hirochimi, the store from Japan was paying $31 for any Vendilin Click, and that's way above typical buy list. So maybe Vendilin Click goes up a little bit. I definitely, traded all, sold all my Vendillion clicks. Uh, Tamagoyf was a flat 105 across the field. Um, that was pretty much non-negotiable. I mean, everyone was pay paying 105. Uh, some really interesting uh, other cards to look at was uh, Mox Opal. People were very high Mox Opal. And Ugin, as well as the uh, Ogamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, those went for a very good price and they were by listing Kogan's Command. A lot of the tier one cards in standard were going extremely high at the event. Nissa, I mean, Nissa had a breakout. I mean, she did what Nissa did and uh, that's too fantastic. I kind of wish I had collected a tiny bit more of her, but hey, you know, you live and learn, right? I should have gone deeper into the Nissa, but. Anyways, I had a great time. Uh, Sunday, I wasn't actually at the GP that often. I bought a three-day pass, but Friday I was at work until like six. I got home around seven and went to see, like I was only there for like an hour for the anime con. And then on Sunday, I went uh, to the anime con, but it was like er over at four. And by that time I was so exhausted I just needed to get home for a nap, which didn't mess with my sleep schedule. <laughs> anyway, I really appreciate all of you guys who I met in person, and I didn't realize, I really did not, um, it was mine, it was really great to meet everyone, and I didn't expect there to be so many people who watched the channel, because um, we're not like a big, big channel, we're just kind of MTG line, right? And we've been doing it for a while. Some people have watched since the old channel, the Odin days, and that's fantastic. So I really enjoyed my GP uh, Houston experience. I will be showing you guys a trade binder, what it looks like later this week. But pretty much I was in the selling mode as opposed to, I did pick up a place at Tomogoyf's, um, a few Expeditions, a um, two Bobs, and some other interesting stuff, but I was primarily in the selling mindset. Anyway, bye guys. <laughs>